No more such bullying, verbal, and radio broadcasting. I'm back. I'll tell you what happened today. I'm outside where I eat. Two girls come walking up the sidewalk, teenagers speaking European language. Not speaking English. Spanish people don't do that. Spanish speaking people don't do that. I've heard people doing it. I certainly don't like Europeans doing it. They know better. To find Europe strutting around North America the same as they did in the 1300s, I find staggering. Staggering. I do. Never has Europe come to North America and done North America. Ever! And that is one of the big issues here. Now, it's not the issue, because this place can have a confession, and it doesn't matter who's done what. So normally nobody is blamed, as long as you don't have a confession, you can't blame anybody. And you're the blame, citizen. So no matter where it's going haywire, when the citizens won't have a confession and live up and do something about it in a very nice way, it ain't nothing's fault except the citizens right now failing to do that. That's all you can do. It's too late to blame, as always is. When you spill the milk, you got to clean it up. And it's too late to get mad and glare at the child. I told my kids, look, when you can clean up your own milk, spill it. Until then, until well, I have to clean it up, please don't spill it. When, when you do spill it, never fear me getting mad at you about it when, ever. That is not the issue, and I won't get mad at you. I just, man, I got better things to do. I can't do nice things for you if I got to screw around and clean up your milk. Now, please don't spill it. They never spilled their milk. My kids never spilled their milk. Because they wanted me to do other things for them. And I did. I made a nice breakfast for them. And I took a lot of time to do it. And I wasn't any, I didn't know how to make a breakfast for anybody. My wife walked out on me. I'm talking about we had this conversation after she left. Before she left, she did all that. When she left, I didn't know anything about making breakfast for me or anybody else. She knew that. That's why she left. That was part of the sting. That she could sit back and imagine us suffering going through that. Oh. Must taste pretty good, huh? What a meal to eat. Kind of like a leopard killing some kind of innocent sheep tied to a stake. That's how dumb I am. And any time anything is ever going to eat me here, it will be that. Know it. And it will be shown to you someday that I am as dumb as a sheep tied to a stake. Why did you eat him? For any reason. Do you want to bet? And especially something will be asked, that of the idea of pain. I will ask the idea of pain that as I stick that idea right up my maker's rectum. Okay? You'll watch. I'll bend over your maker and stick the idea of pain right up its rectum. Want to bet? Just giggle, because you will then. Want a bat? He'll giggle. You get ready. When old Norman here meets the maker of this place and all possibilities that this just sits on the desk of as a paperweight, this don't even touch. That cosmos ain't got nothing to do with all possibility. It's just a reflection. There's a lot more. Possibility. That's what it screams. See me? Could be a lot more. Punky. Think you know what's going on? You know thing about the beginning and end, you idiot? Why would you discuss it with everything else going on? 
Huh? We are discussing the beginning and the end. You are an idiot. Why are you doing that? With all the children that need your help, you're discussing the beginning and the end. Idiot! Oh, we're predicting the end and everything. You're an idiot! We're this crashing like a Boeing battle. You're predicting, are you? And you don't have any idea when. And you're predicting. And everything is hinged around this. Punk! I got a guy over there said all this tragedy at this planet is happening because it's written. Well, I agree with that. You're so dumb, you'll make something written happen, you moron. But he would, he, what this man was in, in, inclining was that God has predicted it and put it in print. That's why it's happening. He's a buffiper. And nothing will ever convince him of anything different than what he told me. Ever. He's made sure that he's shut his head. <laughs> it doesn't reason past that. Ever. What's that make him? As a mammal, dumber than me tied to a stake. More vulnerable than I am. And I'm very vulnerable. A lot more vulnerable. And, there's a plan. and they go around, that man will talk to children and explain things to children. Yes, he will. They did to me when I was a kid the same ninny. I said, he did. And it certainly had me pretty sour for a long time until I went to the Lord in prayer. And the Lord kept saying to me, I never told you that. And asked me to stop and reason and use the echo of information and be logical. How about you in prayer? What are you told? Shut it off and don't pay any attention to your reasoning material? Because my God is a God of reasoning and I have to pay to all reasoning material I must pay attention to. Some of it I don't have the brain. I admit that. But what I do have the ability to reason with, I shall and have to pay attention. I am held liable for that as a mammal. I have a family. I have to do it. I'm a mammal. I'm male of my kind. I owe my family that. Oh, yeah, and then I owe my nation this, and I owe, oh, 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 oh. reasoning, the best of my ability, and respond to it, the best of my ability. Yeah, I do. So do you. Don't you think? Don't you think? Well, you take your thinking to the Lord in prayer and see if anything of what I just said to you is accurate. Boom! Now, the monarch, I command you that, because I need your help. What a bat! I need everybody's help right now. Report to me, Norman Woodstock Spalding. Move!